Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti. I'm checking in from home. Uh, what I have for you today is a beer from Collision Bend Brewing, which they're located on the east bank of the Cuyahoga River in the Flats. It's a cool brewery here in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, they've got a pretty big space on the inside, and then they have a rather large uh, patio area that's right on the water of the Cuyahoga River. You know, a nice summer day. It's a lot of fun to sit there in the afternoon, have some beers, and watch all the giant... Uh, cargo ships go by. It's amazing seeing how these ships navigate that river. I mean, there's so many crazy bends in that river. And watching these guys navigate those giant uh, cargo ships and things through there is just, it, it's incredible. But back to the beer. So this beer is called Hope Flows. It is a Kolsch style ale. There's the can. I uh, picked this up at, I believe, Simone's for two dollars and 39 cents not bad for a can of beer i guess and on the back here where is it here we go turn the can around a little blurb here says hope flows was inspired by the traditional ales of cologne germany this light-bodied ale is slightly fruity crisp and clean with a dry finish that lets the malted barley and earthy hops shine through now this is the cool part Collision Bend Brewing Company is proud to donate a portion of the proceeds from sales of Hope Flows to local charities. Let your hope flow. Now online, uh, when I was looking this up, I, I don't remember if it was on Untapped or somewhere else, it said that they donate uh, a portion of the proceeds to uh, cancer patients at the Cleveland Clinic. But either way, that's really cool that they donate this money to charity. Uh, down here it says design, epsteindesign.com, so I'm guessing that's the... Uh, artist that did the can or the design company did the can and this is an independent craft brewer brewery as you can see the uh independent craft brewing symbol right there like i said this is a kolsch style ale i'm glad this had style because you can only brew, brew kolsches in cologne germany and nowhere else in the world uh, on, on untapped this gets a 3.55 with 2.3 thousand check-ins and there wasn't anything on uh, beer advocate about this. So pouring that, it's got a nice frothy white head. Uh, very bright white. A lot of big bubbles in the top. Getting some nice lacing around the edge of the glass there. And if you look at that color, that is a bright yellow color. I mean, straw colored. That's probably a two on the SRM. A lot of fine carbonation in there. A whole lot of fine carbonation in there. I don't know whether that's, if this beer is cloudy because it's kind of cloudy, or if that's cloudy because of all the fine carbonation. Now, when I open it, I didn't get any big smell out of it, but we'll see once I get my nose in it. A little bit of hoppies, hoppiness and some maltiness, but it's, it's very subtle, almost straw-like. Not much else, just some very subtle hoppy and malty notes, almost like, like, like hay or straw. Maybe a little bit more of the fruity hoppy notes, but nothing real strong. And since this is a Kolsch, it shouldn't taste too strong. It should be nice, light, and crisp, and let's find out. First of all, it's very light bodied and you do get some of that carbonation in there. It's not really fizzy, but you know it's carbonated and the flavors are just light. Very, very light, uh, tiny bit of maltiness and, and a tiny bit of hops, but it's all very, very delicate flavors. It is crisp. It is drying on the finish. A 
but overall, that's a pretty good Kolsch style beer, in my opinion. Uh, this is one of those beers, again, that if uh, you have friends out there drinking Bud Miller Coors, that kind of stuff, and you want to try to get them off that, something like this would be a a good way to start. This is a very approachable beer. Nice, light, crisp, dry. No crazy flavors, no strong flavors. Overall, it is a, it is a good beer, well-rounded. Give it a horns up, Collision Ben. Put out another excellent product. Man, check out the lacing on that. That looks nice. I hope you think my video looks nice. If you do, please let me know, know down below. I think this Pixel 7 does a pretty good job of filming these videos. And I hope you think my videos in general are nice. If you do, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And as always, embrace the adventure.